टू क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट डेटा कंप्रेशन एंड इनक्रिप्शन नाउ दिस सब्जेक्ट इज ऑफर्ड एज एन इलेक्टिव इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी इन थर्ड ईयर एंड द सिलेबस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज कॉमन विद द फाइनल ईयर सब्जेक्ट ओके द सिलेबस फॉर थर्ड ईयर एंड फाइनल ईयर इज सेम दैट इज फॉर सेमेस्टर फाइव एंड सेमेस्टर सेवन नाउ बिफोर गिविंग यू एन इनसाइट अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट I would like to mention about the two very important books that can be used for data compression and encryption. The first book is called as Khalid Sayyid that is Introduction to Data Compression by Khalid Sayyid. This book is important from the compression part for the compression techniques part. And the second book that I'm going to mention to you is about William Stallings and this book will give you a good knowledge about encryption and cryptography area okay so starting with data compression and encryption the first thing you need to understand is you should know very well about what the subject means so we will try to understand what dce means okay now data compression and encryption the three words are obviously data compression and encryption we will try to understand each of these three words one by one let's start with data data can be sent some information or message can be sent using data that means some information or message can be sent via data we will understand this properly using it with the help of an example take one examples suppose there are two friends two very best friends and they want to communicate with each other some information that information is that it is raining today so both are living in different areas and they need to communicate with each other whether it is raining in their place or no and whether to come to college or no so what and how they can communicate with each other how will the first friend suri communicate the information that it is raining in his place to the second friend ashish how where he simply type or he can simply give a whatsapp message saying that it is raining today like this okay so sir suri is trying to convey the information to ashish that it is raining there so this information is conveyed to his friend via text so in this case the text is the data okay so data that has been used is what text or they can use an image to convey the information in the previous slide it was clearly suri had clearly written that it is raining today he had typed it and that was a text the same thing can be conveyed using an image now look here how ashish has responded to his friend he has responded with a photo with a picture of his area so the image clearly shows that it is raining at his place too so here there is no need of ashish to use words he can convey the information easily via an image so the data in this case is an image in the previous case the data was text in this case the data is an image okay the same information to each other via a phone call so the two friends can call up each other and tell them verbally that it has been raining in their area the other method the last method what remains we have talked about data as text we have talked about image we have talked about an audio call and we will be talking about so you can see here that ashish has sent a video of his place to suri to convey the same information okay so the same information is conveyed seen the last few slides data is made up of not made up of data can be text audio image and video so these are all types of data now we have understood the first word of the subject that is data so these are all the types of data that are available and data compression and encryption will give you an 
insight about compression and encryption techniques for all these data types. Moving further to the second clearly tells us that it is nothing but reduction of size of data. Whenever we reduce the size of data, obviously the storage size also reduces for lesser data. You need lesser space to store. Similarly, the retrieval speed. Retrieval speed means how much time you need to retrieve the data. Or in other words, in a common layman's language, if suppose you are sending it via an email, how much time you require to download that attachment? Okay, so lesser the file size, lesser the time you need to download, lesser is the retrieval time. Similarly, sending speed also increases if your data is small and hence the need of compression of data. Now, compression of various types for text, for audio, for image, yes. So uh, these are few examples which I have mentioned. Obviously, we will be studying much into detail in coming lectures. Okay, so text compression, there are there's Huffman coding that you have learned earlier. Audio compression, you you have you must have come across your MP3 extensions. Whenever you are sending some song or some audio clip, you have an MP3 extension to it. What is that MP3? It is a compression technique for audio. Similarly, you have your MPEG and MP4 videos. What are those extension MP4, MPEG? This is nothing but a video compression method. Okay, so these are a few examples. Similarly, there are more for image compression also. We will look into that later. So these are a few examples for compression formats. Example of image compression. Now the information that is conveyed through this picture is what? What information is conveyed? That there it is a rose. It is a it is an orange color rose okay so the two things that have been conveyed to the pictures it is a rose and that it is an orange color rose even if you reduce the resolution if you see the right hand side picture it is a very low resolution if you reduce the resolution the size of the data the size of the image reduces but the information is not lost what is the information information is that the, it is a rose and that the color of the rose is orange so if you see this the right hand side it is a very low resolution picture but the information has not been lost yes data has been lost it is a lossy compression okay so this is an example of image compression similarly moving further compression now in today's world you must have been uh, using whatsapp regularly and that is why i have used this example throughout this presentation so you must have uh, uh, received or you must have sent uh, you know jokes which are what GIFs you must have started, learnt about this you have, must have heard about this GIF okay so this GIF format if you see the video is not really smooth that means the frames required to make those videos are very few it is a very small length short video so this video is not smooth and actually this GIF it's a compressed version of an actual video okay why it has been compressed? Because it is easier to send and receive. It is easier for you to see the video because it takes lesser time to play. And hence, an example, a very good example of video compression is your GIS. Now we will study about encryption. We have studied about data. We have discussed about compression. Now we will discuss about encryption. So encryption is to make a data secret. Why to make a data secret? There might be some secret policies between the sender and the receiver. Two friends might be wanting to communicate with each other secretly. So how can they communicate? For example, encryption of an audio can be done by overlapping the audio with some noise, with some known noise, such that the receiver knows what sound is to be subtracted to get the original audio back. Text can be encrypted using some rule. Now the example that has been given here in the slide is a Caesar cipher where you add two alphabets to each of the existing alphabet and the new thing that you get is sent for example it is raining here so i can be encrypted into plus two alphabets i j k l so i will be converted into l t will be converted into u v w so after two alphabets w so i is converted to l t is converted to w similarly next i is again converted to l s will be converted to S T U V. Yes. Similarly, 
the entire sentence and hence you will be sending whatever appears in blue to the receiver and obviously a third person will not be able to make out what has been conveyed via the message because it has been made secret and who knows what is the key the key is what three you are supposed to come back by two alphabets this is that the third alphabet the backward tracing is your original alphabet so this will be known only to the receiver so this is how you can make your data secret this is how you can encrypt your data so this is just an example of course we will be studying more encryption methods and standards afterwards okay so this was about data compression and encryption now if you have please like subscribe and comment thank you